What's up everybody, it's Vicious765 here, and today I have another episode of Tech and Mysteries for you guys. Now, this one's going to be focused around Ogre, and Ancient Ogre, or Ogre and True Ogre, whichever way you want to put it there. Um, now, these characters, a little history on these characters, they both got their origin in Tekken 3. They moved on to Tekken Tag and didn't get back into the game until Tekken Tag 2. Now, why is this? It is because the Jin Kazama had defeated True Ogre, um, in the third tournament, uh, the third Tekken tournament, that is. Um, Paul had defeated Ogre originally, and Ogre had transformed. But in Tekken 6, we see that Jin was, he beat Ogre, but the Ogre's hand that we've seen crippling in the air was actually Ancient Ogre. Um, which begs the question, is he truly dead? Did he knock him out? Or did he, like, severely wound him? or what exactly happened because in Jin's Tekken 3 ending which is is serving as the most canon ending you know in the game um in that ending he defeated true ogre and ogre split up into a bunch of white lights now these white lights I have some speculation about them and hopefully we can get a little bit more information on Tekken 7 since you know it's going to clear up some mysteries because I don't think the Tekken team has really paid attention to a lot of the stuff they did in the PS1 era um, that is why most of the history that we know in Tekken right now is from Tekken 4 to Tekken 5 to Tekken 6 going forward. Um, they don't bother to really delve back into what happened back on the PS1. Like Eddie's beef with um, Kazuya. Now that is some shit that, that was like one of the only things that carried over that and Jin and Heihachi hating each other. But like it seems like everything else just sort of lost its way. I'm um, not saying that the story is bad, I'm just saying they just forgot about a lot of gold that they could have um, capitalized on. Um, for instance, all those things that were coming out of Ogre and um, Tekken 3. Now, it makes me wonder, because I am curious, what exactly are those things? Are they the souls of the people that he's killed? Did they get released? But they went in all directions, so they didn't get released and go into heaven or hell or anything. It seems more like they were going back to their owners, maybe. But if their owners didn't have a soul, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're dead. It just means that they don't have a soul. Um, at least that's what I'm hoping, because you can still be alive and not have a soul, I feel like. Um, anyway, now, going back to Ogre and the souls, um, the souls thing, I think that they're souls, but... You know what? It could be that Ogre split up different parts of his being into different parts of the country, into different parts of the world, it could be. Now, we know that Dragunov, he found something, uh, something pretty weird in, what was that, a forest or something? Or underground? Um, could a spirit from Ogre possibly have burrowed underground and they tried to harness the power of that spirit? I don't know. Um, that's one of the things that we need to ask. Now, in Tekken Tag, um, there's not really much to go off of besides the fact that um, True Ogre absolutely... I read somewhere that Ogre actually has the devil gene. He actually has devil the devil gene. And, you know, it's not just him being created by aliens. He's created by aliens and the devil gene. Um, which is why True Ogre has the bat wings, I believe. That's what I used to believe, anyway. Now, I can't really confirm that he has the devil gene. I don't really think he does, because in Tekken 4, why would Heihachi need Ogre's blood and a devil gene? You know, it just doesn't make sense. Um, but it seems like Ogre may have a thing where he he's just wandering aimlessly, killing people, you know, taking their souls as he's doing it so he can get stronger, right? But it seems like there are a lot of supernatural characters that really don't like Ogre. It seems like he's probably the most hated creature or being in the Tekken history, in Tekken's franchise. Now, Hayachi's a bastard, but hey, Ogre, um, he... People think that he killed June. And he's the reason why June's missing. Um, Ogre is hated by Devil. Um, you see Devil Kazuya, which we don't know in, you know, the Tekken Tag ending if Kazuya is in control or not, but you see Devil trying to kill Ogre, like trying to la hit him with the laser, and you see that Ogre, he's not a fan of Devil, you know, as well, so it seems like more like a mindless creature, um, but, yeah, 
I don't know what's going on with Ogre because you know he has a different appearance in Tekken Tag, and we know that that game's not exactly canon, but Heihachi does have Ogre's blood available, so really, it could mean that he could create another Ogre because of uh, just, genetic, just genetically creating a, a new creature, you know? That's what I think. Um, since it's in the Mishima Zayabatsu's hands, and whoever's in charge of the Mishima Zayabatsu, who's to say, you know, now that they can't make another one just to defend the human race? You never know. Um, what do you guys think? Do you think Ogre could actually make a comeback, or do you think that Ogre's down for good? What do you make of Jin Kazama's Tekken 3 ending when Ogre Souls or those white things fly all over the place? What do you think that is, and why do you think nobody's talked about it since then? Um, leave a comment if you like, subscribe, um, and go ahead and leave a like if you want. It doesn't matter to me. I'll post up some more videos soon. Later.